What's going on, y'all? Crazy D from the film review. Listen, people, 420 is coming up. Make sure that you uh, go to Crazy D All-Stars. Crazy D's Lordland All-Stars on Spotify, on uh, Apple Music, etc., etc. All the music sharing platforms. Make sure that you download Smoke With Me, produced by Crazy D, featuring... Uh, LaBeja and Sean Styles smoke with me, right? From Crazy D's Lord Land All Stars. Make sure you pick that up. You know, it's a lot of big things happening over the weekend as I bring up the volume just a little bit so you can hear it in the background. There's a lot of big things happening tomorrow, Sunday, on the film review, movies, music, culture, politics, and society podcast. It's myself. And my wife, Tracy, we are the husband and wife team. We're welcoming David A. Arnold on through the phone in, the call in. He's going to be talking about his new stand-up called Fat Ballerina that's on Netflix, right? Speaking of things that's happening that could be Fat Ballerina, you know I have the Black Ice Chronicles movies uh, the Black Ice Chronicles. When you deal with the unseen, you often deal with the unforeseen. You know, that's, uh, you know, tales from the Black Ice. You know, one time in October of whatever year you would like to say, I was in my store. It was, the climate was kind of warm, even though it was fall and it was nighttime because, you know, the time was almost about to change, you know. But it was October, not November, but the climate was nice. And it was later at night in the evening. And a stringy-haired, greasy stringy-haired, emaciated white chick walked into my store. She walks down the counter, right? And she says... Do you have a restroom that I can use? I said, no, I don't have a public restroom for people to use, right? And she said, well, I'm just here waiting on my dude. And I said, waiting on your dude? So I'm like, well, how long is this going to go on? You know, so. In the doorway stands a famous pimp. That's right. He was famous. He was pimping for sure. He was pimping for sure. And. So I said, did he send in this chick, you know, to try to collect before he walked in? You know, maybe some retailers went for that. You know, maybe some retailers got it. But, oh, let me back up for a little bit, you know. The tales from the Black Ice is about my 15 years in retail, right? And so let me tell you. Let me set up the room so you can understand what the room looked like. My store was immaculate. It was an immaculate store. When you walked in, you saw my flags flying, banners from the ceiling with my logo uh, tacked on four corners of the drop ceiling. You know what I mean? And along the walls were my banners with my name on it, Lordland Films and... Uh, Crazy D's, Music Palace, and in between, alongside my poster were, uh, alongside my banners were the posters of the stars, you know, the music entertainers, so when they came in, I was the star 
in my store and they were like the icing on the cake when they would do their retail runs right so as he walked in he was checking out the counter as i said what's up pimpin what's going on you know and he's checking out the counter and he's looking and he snaps his finger and he calls the woman off because you see i'm a person at that time that had wavy tavy i was born with wavy tavy right wavy tavy hair two long pony braids you know i had the type of hair that uh beauticians remember when beauticians would be paid hundreds of dollars a month to make a person's hair straight well that's the type of hair that I had wavy tavy. I was born with wavy tavy, and depending on what type of petroleum jelly I would use, is how straight it will become. As the phone rings. Now, depending on what type of petroleum jelly I use, is how straight the hair would be, right? So he's looking at this. And he snaps his finger and calls her off, you know, because now I have uh, the locks because the sun out here in Las Vegas dreaded my hair. It locked my hair and I went with it, you know what I mean? But then it was long flowing, long braids, like it's long and flowing now, you know, it just keeps on continuing. But anyway, so he uh, he calls her off and he says he has this product that he wants to put into the store, you know, because, you know, I carry the pimps up, hose down. I carry pimping across America from the moral person who passed a uh, salute to him because he was one of the ones who was actually documenting this culture in the United States of America. So, you know, I would talk to him quite often on the phone. So that's pretty much how probably the pimps uh, got connected into 20,003 Harvard Avenue was because of uh, my connections of purchasing things from different people who would call in and I would order it from them. But at this time, I wasn't taking unsure things, so I would take them in on consignment, all right? So I told him, I said, well, I'll take your product in on consignment. And he said, consignment? I was like, yeah, 30, 60, 90 day consignment. Only for live men, biggie. And he was like, no, I think I would want to have it uh, put in. So this banter went back and forth for a while. And then he said, well, you know what? I'll just take your information down on the consignment sheet. Now, as he's filling out the consignment sheet to have information later for when he would want to do consignment, he's looking around the corner again now. What he didn't realize is he wouldn't have never sent in this greasy, stringy haired, emaciated white chick if he had known my pedigree and what I do. As you look at the counter, I was the greatest photographer in the city of Cleveland, Ohio, in my suburb of Warrensville Heights, Ohio, that shot and produced DVDs and CDs and all along there were was my work and I brought alternative and he saw that and you know what happened as he was talking as he was talking to work to move to hightail it out there he was so enamored with what he saw and saw that he came with the wrong approach that he left the consignment sheet on the counter tales from the black ice